Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by, I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we're gonna be talking about a tool that is extremely important to someone like myself. A YouTuber who is constantly doing reviews for pistols, regardless if that is for competition or a review or even for everyday carry, I wanna make sure that I have the ability to make my pistols as accurate as possible or if I need to change some things then I want to have the right tools for the job. With that being said AccuCraft reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in looking at their sight pusher and I was like you know what why not let's take a look at it. I've had one in the past and uh, I will say that this is probably one of the more um, robust and kind of Cadillac of the sight pushers that I've seen on the market. So I was actually kind of happy they reached out to me like they did. Now one of the things that I need to say uh, real quick is they did send this to me. Uh, you guys know how I am going to do things when I talk about the good with the bad. Uh, but if you're interested in this particular item then you can definitely check that out in the pinned comment and you have an opportunity to pick up 20% off with a discount code down there as well uh, if you guys are interested in picking something up like this. Uh, I know for someone like myself who is constantly tinkering with his firearms, having the right tools for the job is extremely important to me. So, um, you know, maybe picking one of these up for um, yourself or a friend or maybe uh, drop a hint to a wife for uh, a birthday or Christmas present coming up, you know, whatever the case may be, this might be a good option for you. With that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, different pieces. And this is something that I've really, really enjoyed. And then I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I went about uh, using this on my PSA dagger, just as a demonstration purpose. Um, I didn't swap any sites out. But with that being said, you're going to have these two large uh, bolts on here that have these really nice and easy to use nuts. You can just take those uh, two nuts off and that's going to separate the top from the bottom piece. The bottom piece is constructed in such a way that makes things extremely easy and that's something I really really do like about this because everything about this tool is going to be very intuitive and easy to use. As you can see you have these locking collars on the base and that is basically going to pinch your slide into position and the top piece is then going to vise down on top of it as well. But the cool thing is that uh, there are these lines engraved into the base and that is going to help make sure that your slide is perfectly perpendicular to the base itself to ensure that is as straight as possible because if you start pushing your sights with your slide canted it could really damage some things so I really did like that. Now as you can see I've got it orientated with the U-notch uh, facing up. That U-notch is meant for pushing front sights out uh, specifically for like 1911s. From what I understand 1911s will usually have a spring in the front sight that needs to be laid flat. I'm not 100% sure because I've never messed with 1911s but that's my understanding of that. So uh, just keep that in mind. If you're going to push a rear sight out then you're going to want the flat side facing you. So there is the uh, bottom piece, very easy to use, and we'll be seeing that here in just a second. The top piece is uh, also something that is uh, interesting and easy to use as well. Uh, as you can see on the front, you do have the sight pusher itself. You have the ability to use uh, either a bevel side or a flat wall side. The bevel side is gonna be used for a lot of the polymer frame striker fired pistols such as Glocks or even like the PSA daggers you'll see here in just a second. Whereas the straight wall side is going to be used for uh, things like Novak sights on uh, a 1911 or any type of sight that has a flat edge on the side. So that's something that I really like. You can just take those two bolts out, flip it around and you're good to go. 
On the underside of the top piece, you're going to see this uh, really thick plastic piece that has a U-notch cut out on that. And essentially what that is, is a depth spacer. This is actually really ingenious because this allows you to get the proper height of the top piece with the base so that your sight pusher is not scratching or marring the top of your slide. And that was something that I really, really did like. So once you get uh, the top piece put down onto your base and slide, you can orientate that uh, plastic collar around to make sure that you have the correct uh, height. And then essentially all you're gonna do is lock everything down from there. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at what I went ahead and did. Uh, naturally, like I said, I had my PSA dagger set up. Uh, in this, I went ahead and locked it down on the base and just made sure that I was, um, you know, straight utilizing those guidelines on the base and then kind of gently locking everything down. Brought the top piece down and started to uh, get the correct height as well as making sure that the slide was uh, pushed in or out at the correct distance. Once I had the um, slide in its proper position with everything, I went ahead and locked the uh, collars down onto the side to pinch it into place and then locking everything down from there. Once I had that all figured out and I had everything locked into place, it is nothing more than just turning the knob on the side to push it one way or the other. Now, one thing that you will need to keep in mind is that the dovetail cuts in your slide may have a thinner side and a thicker side. You may need to uh, look at your owner's manual to figure out which way you're supposed to drift those sights if you're wanting to drift it for accuracy or just to pull them out completely. So like I said, this was just a demonstration to show you how this works so that uh, you can see that it is fairly easy to use. So with that being said, the AccuCraft is a tool that I didn't think I was going to really like, but after using it in a demonstration purpose, I found that it's really easy to use, it's intuitive, and uh, it's something that I'm actually going to uh, hold on to and use from time to time as I'm switching out uh, iron sights on pistols, uh, drifting them for accuracy purposes and stuff like that. It's uh, not that uh, cumbersome, so if you need to take it to the range, you can definitely do that as well. Again, with that being said, I have a link in the pinned comment down below and a 20% discount code as well. So if you guys are interested in picking one of these up, I highly suggest you using that link and using that coupon code to save some money because that's all I ever tried to do for you guys is to show some really cool things and then at the same time try to uh, save you guys money as well. So if you guys have any questions, comments, complaints, manifestos, anything whatsoever, let me know down in the comment section and uh, we will take it from there. With all of that being said, thank you so very much for swinging by and checking things out. I really do appreciate everybody's support and we will catch you next time. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Catch you guys later. Bye, y'all.